Good morning, everybody. Beautiful morning. Old Muggy Lake. Looking great. Here comes old B Ryan. Hey, I didn't know you camped out here last night. Hey, you want to come fish with me today? Let's do it. We're pumped, guys. We, uh, him and I out here, old Jackson Jay's taking a break. We're going to get some bass, man. This is Brian. Big ones. And I like to call him B Ryan. And he's going to get some big ones today. We're glad to see you guys. Thanks for joining in. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Take another look at that. So that means we're going to get some beautiful fish. All right, let's go, Brian. Let's go. Hear that, girls? And ladies and gentlemen, my girl sounds good again. She's a pern. That makes me happy. Man, that makes me happy. We're gonna get out here. It's gonna be windy today. It's gonna be about 70. Windblown banks, nice sunny day. Let's do it. Man, I'm pumped. Brian's coming somewhere. All right, I'll get back to you. Number one. That's what's biting us right there, Brian. Yeah. These giants. <laughs> what do you think, about five or six pounds? Yeah, or ounces, yeah. What do y'all think? Five or six? Comment, I say six pounder. Hey, but we'll take it, that breaks the ice. We're in our first little spot. Got it with this uh, speed shad with the, oh, come here. Speed shad with a six cents underspin on it. Orange tail, you know that. All right, let him go. Yeah, baby, Brian, I told you, right here, man. Yeah. Gonna be a beautiful day, man. Okay, guys, so fishing hadn't really started off yet, but check this out, I hope you can see it. Let me zoom in. There's an eagle up there. It's, it's just right up there, eating a big old fish, man. We're not even catching him, he's got a two pound bass up there. What you got to say about that, Brian? <laughs> yeah, go where the birds go. It doesn't matter if the, what kind of bird it is, man. If it's a Todd, it's a uh, uh, whatever. But seeing that eagle up there with the big old bat, that's just cool, man. You know what that spells, Brian? A-M-E-R-I-C-A. America! Good job, eagle. Good job. Okay. All right, guys, Brian's hooked up. We needed it, Brian, that a boy. That a boy. No confidence, baby. Cinco with a nail weight. Hey, that's a decent one, buddy. Maybe get something started here. There you go. Get you all your friends real quick. That a boy. We're on this windblown point. You guys have heard me say it a million times. Sorry if it's windy. It's blowing about 25. You can see the, you can hear it. But right. here's our setup, right here. Fishing nest, got over there, all that. So, good job, Brian. I'm so proud of you, man. That's what we're fishing. Right there. Cinco, with a little, little nail weight in it because it's so windy. Yeah, Brian's hooked up. Not a boy saving the day, Brian. Look at that. That is a spot, isn't it? That. We needed that, Brian. There's the water temp and all that. 60 degrees over here. All right, good job, man. Yeah, I'm down for that. Let's go, 
hooked up again that a boy yeah hey that's a good one brian i'm glad i brought you today gator arena nah. that's a little female yeah pregnant pregnant tail's not red let's look at it telltale sign guys if these fish are spawning see the tail right there it should have red spots on it where they get down they get down in the cover and the the, the, the crud and they build a nest and they do it to it, right? Yep. We've been fishing too slow today. Good job. Speed things up and all of a sudden we get three bites in 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it rolls. And we're kind of getting mid midday. Water's getting warmer. Sun's out. So, okay. Swim jig with orange tail, right? Windblown bank. Never heard that before, have you guys? <laughs> hey, it works, man. I'm telling you, it works. Guys, you gotta watch this next one, it hurts. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. On a tough day, the one thing you don't wanna do is lose a good fish. I don't think y'all can see the fish, but you'll hear us holler and I'm gonna put it in for you anyways. It reminds me of how terrible of a job I did by bringing a fish onto the boat. And what a cruddy co-angler he has. <laughs> it has nothing to do with him actually. So I tried to boat flip it, guys, at least a three pounder at least wouldn't you agree brian good solid three he says but i went to flip it up and i saw i saw it and it only had one hook barely just right here so i tried to hurry up and get it because i knew if i tried to lean over it would be gone and it hit my dang trolling motor and fell in the water so don't do that that's the helpful tip today we fish swim jigs most of the day brian yeah just a little bit of everything a little bit of everything. But we'll close out here in a minute. Okay guys, yeah, here's what we're seeing. And unfortunately, they're just not biting. Those are fish. Hey, so we're gonna close out. Brian, I'll tell you, it was great being out here with you, buddy. About time. Yes, big time, about time. And uh, starting to get warmer out. Maybe we can do this more often again, get out here and make some quick videos for you guys. Um, I'm telling you, if you haven't done it, the swim jig with an orange tail, white on white, so that's a white swim jig, white speed shad with an orange tail. Do they gotta do it? It outfishes any speed shad on fish. <laughs> I'm usually on the back of the boat getting my head handed to me because he's got orange on the tail. That's right, man. I'm telling you, that orange tail is something else, guys. Get out there and try it. That's the only tip today. It's pre-spawn time. These fish are moving up. Bays, pockets, shallower. You know, the bucks are gonna get shallower before the females and eventually the females will be sitting on beds. Um, go get them. It's fun. You can get some big ones. You can lose some big ones. And uh, it's just beautiful out here. I mean, yeah, right there. Right there. Doesn't take much. That's the trick right there, guys. Nothing to it. The manuals at Bass Pro Shop doesn't tell you that. That's a helpful tip from Broke Bow and B-Rhyme right there. So, one last look at today. It's pretty beautiful out. Yeah. Old Mogi Lake's really nice. The water clarity's pretty cool nice and clear i'd say about two foot clarity which is great this time of year for old mogi but and we were slow rolling these fish all day and not getting any bites we sped things up and all of a sudden they started chasing so yep if the slow is not working go fast absolutely that and brian he was down there he started twitching and going faster and they hit it and then we got several bites put together we fished all day had a few bites then we fished the last 30 minutes and caught some fish so that's cool um but i have fun brian we're gonna get off here guys thanks again for joining broke bows bass fishing old b ryan and tie lines guys go get them no excuses go get them see ya